All right, it's a new day. Just pulled up, getting ready to pass out or attempt to pass out a thousand door hangers in one day. I'm gonna break it down by the hour, see how many we can do. All right, and I got the big brick on me, but we're only gonna bring 250 at a time, so one stack at a time. A little bit of advice also, if there's a bench or table or something next to the door, I prefer to put it on that instead of fiddling with the door handle. And also just hooking on something like this. It'll save you time having to go up to each door individually up these big old flights of stairs, so. Any way you can do it faster, make it happen. The good thing about door hangers is you can catch people outside and approach them personally and tell them what you're doing. Hey, I'm out here promoting my window cleaning business. Would you like a flyer? She said yes, and then gave us three free oranges. So it's a win-win for today. Woo. Make sure you're caffeinated on these days. What I've done is I always walk down that way and then I'll loop around and start walking up this way. And I'll do every street like that. And then when I'm done, I'll come and hit all the side streets. Just one more thing to be mindful of is if there's a no solicitation sign, Always pay attention to that because it's a good way to piss people off. Today I'm targeting a bit of a wealthier neighborhood, which seems like the obvious choice of the neighborhood to go into for promoting. But you'd be surprised that a lot of them actually already have a window cleaner or a cleaning service that does it, which is why sometimes it's better to target just nice middle class communities that take pride in their homes because a lot of the times they don't have someone Whew. All right, one hour in. Probably got more than 150 of them passed out, so we might be able to do this whole thousand today. Hell yeah. I'm gonna go grab the car, move it closer to the next set of blocks we'll be doing and grab another brick. And I just want everyone to be really careful when doing this, especially depending on what state you live in. You know, make sure you look good. I got my shirt all tucked in and I'm saying hello to every person I see. And having conversation because I'm in a rush so I, I look I could look potentially suspect depending on how my appearance and demeanor and all that but you know just just be cautious and be kind and yeah do your best thousand in a day baby you guys could also hook it on the gate like that as well if you need to I'll pretty much hook it on anything I can to avoid touching the door handle if possible brick number two I'm also going by a lot of complexes I don't usually leave one for every unit but I'll leave a couple because sometimes people will put in a request to property management to have you come through and next thing you know, you're doing the whole apartment complex. Woo! Gotta be in shape for this stuff, man. And we're back. We took a, about a 20 minute break. It is 1.43. I'm trying to knock this shit out in about three hours. Let's get it. And we got a new brick on him. And uh, that's me getting barked at by dogs. Door hangers are not for the faint hearted. Oh, all right, we're about five hours in, four and a half hours in. Got about 300 left. Had a um, another young guy who's partners in a construction company asking me about door hangers and if they work and all that. And I explained kind of what I said earlier. And if you get about 1% of the flyers you leave will call you back. So if I leave 100, one person's gonna call me. I'm leaving 1,000, 10 should call. And I just think it's the cheapest way to advertise. I spent 150 bucks, I get 1,000 door hangers. I know it's gonna work, I've done it before. And I also just explained how sometimes you're better off going to middle-class neighborhoods because they don't already have someone providing that service versus upscale neighborhoods that usually have someone providing a service in every sector of life. So, whew, man, I'm ready to be done. I gotta admit, man, I'm tired, my legs hurt. Oh man, I'm at the car taking a quick water break. I'm on my last brick. Oh. Man, my feet are killing me. This is way harder than cleaning windows. But this is why you make so much money, right? It's why I make so much money on my own is because I'm able to go out and find clients myself. I don't rely on someone to have work for me and pay me a wage. I go out and find my own work and set my own wage. Oh, so we're on the last brick. It's about 3.30. Hoping to be done by 5.30 at the latest. Moving a lot slower, but I'm determined, dude. We're doing a thousand today, just so I could show you guys. Another thing I like to do is avoid walking on everyone's grass. It just looks respectful. All right, we're seven hours in, no exaggeration. I'm on like my last 50, but I just knocked out this whole neighborhood. I said we would do a thousand, and that's what, the, that's what we're gonna do. So I'm moving over, pulling up to a different neighborhood to just knock these last 50 out to prove my point that you can do a thousand 
in a day on your own and then I'm clocking out. Absolutely miserable. That is not fun. So we did a thousand and seven hours. We're seven hours and 20 minutes in exactly. We took a 20 minute break. So we did about 140 door hangers per hour, roughly. That's how many we passed out. And we did the full thousand, all four bricks you guys saw earlier. Now on average, we could expect about a 1% return. So 1% of everyone that we call or left a door hanger for should call. So 10, that'd be 10 people for a thousand door hangers. Let's say for some odd reason we get half a percent, we should still be getting five people who call. And let's just say for the hell of it, we get a point of a percent who calls back. We get one person who calls back. We're still gonna make our money back. I did a bunch of big houses. I hit an upscale neighborhood today, a real upscale neighborhood. One of these houses I could easily make a thousand dollars on the day if it's the right house. Some were a little more modest, you know, it'll be a few hundred bucks, but our average job is around $200 for a single, single story home. Let's say we got that 1% return of 10 people. We're making $1,000 off today's walking around and work and it sucks. My feet are killing me, I'm hot. And you could probably pay somebody like $15 an hour to go and just pass them out, but who knows if they're actually gonna pass them out unless it's a good friend of yours. But then if it's a good friend of mine, I'm, I'm paying him more than 15 bucks an hour. I gotta hook the guy up, you know? The whole point of this video is that when you're getting started and you don't have a lot of money, this is how you do it. This is how you market. Finding clients is the hardest part of the business. I ate all last year off doing door hangers and then word of mouth as well. But my first, the first thing I did to get that ball rolling was door hangers. Get yourself a thousand pack, pass them out now. The busy season's here. We're right at the tip of it. It's time to get going. See you guys the next time. This morning at nine, we received a call to come out, do a free estimate, and we booked the job. It was a special request. He's actually having us mop, vacuum and mop uh, his living room, and we're gonna clean the outside windows in the living room only, and he sounds like he wants to add on room by room, like a day or two at a time, depending on how good we do. And we booked the job for tomorrow, 9 a.m., 100 bucks. Should only take me an hour and a half at the most. And if we do a good job, he's putting the word in with the neighbor across the street who owns a ton of property. So you never know where one job will lead you. And uh, this is just proof that door hangers, they work. It's the day after, it's less than 24 hours after I started passing them out and we already got a job. So keep it pushing, stay strong and Get out there with those door hangers.